Hello and welcome back to the last video of my Amigurumi Basics series. Today I show you something that a lot of you have been asking for, how to embroider face details. I will show you how to do eyes in a couple of different ways and also how I do noses and mouths. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Okay, so what I want to show you today is how to um, do some face details on your amigurumi. So we're going to get started. I will show you a couple of different ways to do the eyes. And I'll also show you how um, I do a nose or a mouth. So the first thing I think I want to show you is that you can actually do um, eyes with crochet. So I got some thread here, some crochet um, yarn. What I do is I generally take a yarn that is slightly less thick than the one I used to make my amigurumi. So if you remember correctly, we were using a yarn that was crocheted with a 3.5 millimeter hook. That's a green yarn. And now I want to use this one that's normally I crochet with a three millimeter hook. And in this case, because I want it very tight, I'm actually going to use a 2.5 millimeter hook to crochet this one. So you will just do um, your magic ring. So, and if you need any help on how to do a magic circle or magic ring, I do have a tutorial that's available as well on my chain, on my channel. So I want to just do six single crochet into my magic circle. So you'll notice that I don't actually um, tighten the circle until I am finished. So now that I have my six stitches in here, I'll just tighten the magic circle and I think this will be a good size eyes. So what I do is you can either fasten it off straight away or you can just get into that first stitch here and do a slip stitch just to close the circle. I think it generally like gives a nicer look to it. So now that we've done that eye, we're just going to fasten it off. And that will be the basis of your crochet eye. So from there, you'll just use your needle and you can just sew it directly to where you want onto your amigurumi and you can just leave it there if you want to um, otherwise you can also then embroider details so i might just get that sewn in and then i will um, show you how to do a couple of reflections like reflections and stuff on the eye um, but yeah you can just leave it there i've done some amigurumi where I just leave that. If you also want a bigger eye, you can also then get a secondary color and do another round around. And generally I do a round of increase after the first round. So I just do increase in each stitch until I get 12 single crochets in here. And then that'll just give you a bigger eye. And I right. So for example, this model, I have done this pattern. I have used that extra round of single crochet around the eye to give it that look and then I've just sewn it and I haven't added any reflex to it. Um, I also have another example for you. So here this is Jacinta the Jacaranda tree. So the other one was um, Gigi the Gala and this you can see that I've added that second round of green but I've also added a little reflection um, in white into the eyes. So I'll show you now how to do this. Okay, so once you have um, your eye, what I do is I kind of just weave in that starting thread. You just want to weave it in so that it won't come undone. Generally, it won't. I've never actually had any of my magic circles come undone. But just in case, you just weave it in a couple of times 
and then I'm just going to cut it so that it's not in the way for when I sew my eye on. Okay, and then I think here will look good. So I'm just going to use and again, you can have a look on how I normally sew my amigurumi pieces on, but I will just do it on the surface. I won't actually go down. And for the eye, what I find works really well is if you just go up one stitch and then you go down the next one so that it still leaves that nice effect. My thread's probably a little bit too short. I should have left a bit more length. But then you go, you go back up to the next stitch and then back down. And see, it just like leaves a nice um, a nice look to that eye. And then again, up and down. So take your time here and then I just kind of weave in my end by just passing it across a few times. Yeah, until I'm pretty sure that won't come undone and then you just can cut that thread. What I like to do as well is I just then kind of push back that little end so that it's back inside. Right, so now that you've got one eye sewn in, what I like to do is I take a smaller needle and I'm going to use some embroidery threads to make the reflections on the eyes. The reason why I like to use embroidery thread is because it's generally a lot smaller and thinner than um, crochet um, yarn. So I just have some, this is like some random like embroidery threads that I've got from my stash. I'm just going to grab this color. I think that will do a nice, a nice white for the reflections. Okay. And I have here, so this is um, some DMC thread and I take two um, of the strands of the thread. Okay. So once you've got this threaded on your needle, I normally just start with a little knot on one end. The, the thread will get caught onto the crochet, so it won't be too bad anyway afterwards, but just in case. And then what I like to do is I like to enter kind of far away and then I come out onto that black part. So. Here, and then I'll just kind of do a little reflection here at the top. And I just pass it through a couple of times. And then once I've done it a couple of times, I want to come down onto the other end. And generally this one, I'll just do it um, only once because I don't want it to be too thick. And then I'll come at the top here of the, ver of the very top here of the eye for the last step, which is to kind of do a border. So this I'll probably have to do a couple of times. And you can see there's some of my stuffing coming out, but that's okay. You can just fix it later. Um, so once you've got this, then I just like to do kind of the outside of the eye, but that's not a necessary step. You just, so you just pass your needle underneath the eye like this, and that will just give it the outside outline. And I generally just do it a few times so that it's visible because right now you can't see it because it just goes and um, stays under the eye. So if you just do it a few times, then it will be visible. And again, I don't like when it's too visible, so I just do it a couple, um, two or three times. 
Okay, that's probably enough for me. So you can see that's the outline of the eye there. And there you go. So um yeah, I'd like to kind of make sure that those are nice and neat. So make sure you pull it properly. Um, to finish off, I'll just do a knot, a couple of knots here at the top. Make sure that you make them really close. And you can make a few knots so that they're quite big. And then I will cut it quite close. And with the end of a needle, I'll just kind of pop that knot back inside the work. Okay. So this is how you crochet an eye and you can add some details afterwards onto it. Now, for those of you who want something a little bit more simple, I will show you how to do a simple closed eye. Um, so again, you have the choice of using, you know, like yarn or an actual embroidery thread. I'll actually use yarn for this one because I like my eyes to be a little bit thicker. Um, that helps. I think it just makes it like a bit cuter when the eyes are thicker. But to make the mouth, I'll show you in a minute, I use the, um, the thread that's a little bit more, um, a bit smaller. So we're going to do the eye. We're actually going to make it, um, let's do it close, but this way, like it's winking. Okay. So again, I'll go and get my thread in. So I'll just do it like this. I've made a knot there. So you just push the knot inside. Okay. Now, you don't want to pull too much on this step because the knot might come out otherwise. But then I'll kind of go, okay, well, where does it, where, how big is the eye going to be? So I want to put it, I think, in this stitch there. And then I want it to only be one stitch high. So what you do is you put your needle where, at the width, like the maximum width you want it. And then you put it up so that you're going to catch your yarn with that bit of thread there and then you're just simply going to do a little short stitch there so you just put it back into the same hole and that's your eye if you want to add details to this like lashes and things i would suggest you just use a thinner thread for it and again the same way i'm just gonna do a couple of knots at the back here and then um, just hide them back inside. So see, it's fine, it's pretty big, but that's okay because you're just kind of gonna pop that back inside. And I like to use the other side of my needle to do that. So not the pointy side. Okay, so this is a winking, you can see it's not winking. I quite like that actually, it looks pretty cute. If you want to tidy up, um, if you have stuffing coming out, you can always use your scissors or your cutters to just kind of cut the little threads that are coming out, just to make it a bit neater. I know some people use tweezers as well, um, but I find that when I use tweezers, it actually pulls out more threads, so I'd rather not do that. Okay, so... Now, if you want to add a nose, it's going to be really simple. You, it's still the same technique, so you're going to use the same color thread I find works best. Or you can use something that's slightly um, lighter or darker, depending on what you want. But I'm going to use the same color thread because I think that will be the best here. And it's always the same technique to start with, so you're just making a couple of knots. And I'm going to um, go and put my nose here in the middle of the two eyes. So I put, again, my needle first a little bit further away. 
make sure that this knot goes inside. All right. And then when you're making your nose, you literally just go back and forth over that area. So I'm going to make quite a small nose because this face is going to be really small. So here you go. You just kind of make those stitches all on top of each other and you can kind of make sure they go either next to each other or then on top if you want to give it a little bit more depth. And again, I'm just kind of working over the same few stitches until I'm happy with how big the little nose is. So see how I'm trying to put the strands either on top or like nicely um, next to each other. Here we go. So I quite like the look of this little nose. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm just going to tie it off. And for the mouth, it's going to be the same. Um, it's going to be the same principle again. So I am going to use um, some embroidery thread because I want it to be smaller or like thinner than what the eye is. So I'll go back with my um, embroidery needle, like my thinner needle, and I'll do that. So now I have either two strands or I have here four strands. Um, I think I'll go with the thinner one because I think it look nicer. And I want a little offset mouth I think I don't want it to be right bang in the middle of the face so I'm just going to put it a little bit offset kind of like it's smirking and we're going to put it on this side here because um that will just make the face a bit more balanced with that big eye so I'm going to have it, whoop, see what I meant about not pulling too much? I pulled too much on here, so it went straight through. So that's why the like very first part, you want to make sure that you put that knot in, but that you don't pull too much. Okay. And I think I want it just here and to the side. So again, I'm doing the same thing that I did for the eye. I'm doing one line and then the curve is done by pulling your threads back onto another hole. Oh no, my knot's coming out. Okay, let's just start again. I think my knot was too small. Let's do a slightly thicker knot. Here we go. Okay. Take two for the mouth. Here we go, a lot better. So, yeah, I want it to be to the side here. And then you're going to put it in place by where you pull your thread. So, you see? And then you just want to kind of put it back um where you came from at that stage if you're using like a dark thread you don't have to fast enough you could go ahead and uh, maybe just add some lashes here so um maybe i can do that now i might just come in here and just add a lash on this side and i might also go onto the other side of the head and add an, a lash as well to the other eye. So it's not super obvious, this one. I might have to go and um, make it a little bit thicker on this side here as well. And yeah, this is when you can really play with, you know, your character and try to give them 
the expression that you want them to have. You can give them some character really by doing this step. All right, so I've added little lashes. It's got a mouth, it's got a little nose. Um, and we've made one crochet eye and one just um, embroidered eye. So this is really, um, I think it's a very important step to just do the face. I would suggest you don't rush for this step because um, this is really what's going to give personality to your little characters. Um, so here you go. This is my little girl. I guess she's a girl because she's got little lashes. Um, and this is how I embroider faces or do faces on my characters. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more tutorials that you can find as well. Um, we've actually made that whole little character um, in the Amigurumi Basics video series that I recorded mostly last year before I had my second baby and then I'm just finishing the series now. Um, so thanks so much for those of you who have waited so long for that final video on how to embroider faces. I really appreciate that. And this is it. Thank you so much for joining me again for the last video of my Anigurumi Basic series. I hope that you've had fun and that you've learned lots of things. And hopefully now you are ready to take your own Anigurumi journey. If you would like to see more videos from me, I'm currently doing a craft vlog series where each month I show you what projects I've been up to. And I really hope you join me for those. And that's it for today. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you later.